Good morning, welcome to Man and Motor. Uh, today I've got a Mercedes ML 2009. I've got a full service to do on it, and I'll show you how it's done. So, this is a V6 turbo diesel. So, we're going to change the air filters, which you've got two of them one on this side, one on this side. Change the fuel filter, which sits there. Oil filter. Uh, just got a jet car jack topped in here, so I'm gonna take the under tray off and drain the oil first before I tackle the top. So, taking the under tray off, some plugs right here in the front, so it's quite good access. Uh, and let's go for it. This draining uh, is a 13 mil bolt, so it takes some plug off, and let that drain. So, uh, I've loosened the oil filter cap with all water pump plies because I don't have the size cup for this so just loosen it, shouldn't be too tight in the first place yes. that will go down slowly slowly let that drain Rain. So I've taken the oil filter off in the O-ring. I'll we'll put a new filter on and the new O-rings in the box. So new filter is on. So remember there's a little O-ring there and there's an O-ring right here. I need to change and that's it. I'll put, put that back on the car. So the oil filter is done and now I'm just going to check underneath. It's, it's completely drained. So I'm going to put the sump plug back in and Put it on the trays back on and then lower it down so it's quite high to work up top. Oil's drained, new filter is on, oil filter. So now we're going to tackle the two air filters, either end and the fuel filter. So first we need to take this air pipe off for links to the turbo. Okay, so it draws in air into the turbo. So we're going to remove that first. As you see, we'll just loosen it off. It's got a 7 mil bolt here, 7 mil bolt here, jubilees, and another 7 mil. Take these two connectors off here, and just wiggle it down, that's it. Just slowly pry it out. You've got one, you're going to take that off as well. It's hiding. So we're taking it off. There you go. So I just wiggle that pipe off from here. So it's free now. So now you can go ahead and change your fuel filter. There you go. You just, uh, uh, what I use is a pick, you just pry it in the air and it unclips and pry it in the air and unclips and it pops out these fuel pipes. Now we've got the female uh, male torques we we'll take out, there's three of them, one, two and three and this pops out the whole fuel filter housing. Fuel, uh, fuel filter is off, here it is, here's the housing so we're going to take that uh, five mil allen key and take the housing off and put a new one in so new filters in uh, I haven't tightened these up yet so I'm gonna get these pipes in and tie everything up together might have to loosen the, the allen key that I took off might have to move it around to get these pipes in so let's go for it as you can see these clips are pretty good so if once you just hook on here like that and just lift that oh, no, this one I've done it. Just grab it. That's it. That's tight. You just need no nose pliers, hook, hook, and that's in. So that's done. It's all about right. And now I'm gonna tie them all up. So that's the fuel filter done. The fuel filter is all done. Now we're gonna tackle the air filters. So to get to the air filter, I'm gonna take this bolt out, and this is hooked on there. So the same as the other side, I'm going to take that bolt out and just hook underneath there and that this hole this should lift up and this one here as well, I'll take that bolt off and I'll see if I can find one if there's one behind there so uh, I'll take this bolt off, see the long bolt there and one bolt there so that's free and again the bolt right at the back here just come off here, there you go and then that should be free now. So we'll take that off. Make sure you take the connector off. 
Look at that one off. Oh, this side here is a bit difficult. So what I did, I uh, loosened the power steering fluid reservoir. And just to get this out, so just wiggle it. It will come out. There you go. So this side, which is the passenger side, was a bit difficult. So I just loosened that off. So I just got one uh, bolt there, bolt there, and there's two over there. So just move that out of the way to get access to that side. So now you gotta take the air filter off. Remove the air filter. Here we go. That's how it looks like. That's one side. I put a new one on now. There you go. That's a new one. Yes. Okay, that's the other side. So we go. We've got the other side to it. It's quite different. It's really different shape. It's one slightly longer, one a bit shorter. So you can't get them wrong. There you go. Goes in there. So air filter's all done. So you got T25 four times. You just undo them and then you get access to the filter. Now we will put it back. The front part. So put both sides in. I haven't screwed in yet. So I'm just gonna line it all up. Then screw all in. Just gonna lift it up. Put this back in. Put this reservoir back in as well. Okay, uh, everything's all attached. Now we put back the pipe that goes across to the turbo. So the middle pipe's all on. Now I can tighten the air box, keep them loose so you can get these pipes on and the 7mm Jubilee clips. All free, make sure you put the connector back on. Now we're gonna tie the air box back up, and then that's done. All tightened up. Now you put the oil in, it takes roughly around 8.6 liters 530 or shell. And if it put that in now, okay, oil is all in. Now we're gonna tackle the pollen foot. Yeah, pollen foot is six behind the glove box. So now we're gonna get to it. It's free torques one. Two and it's three there. We'll get to them. Here it goes, dropped. So you got one torques there, three on top, so it just drops. Just got to drop it off. Take this light out. Just need to get to the back there. See that bit there? Just need to get to the back there. Here we go, we've got room now. So we're gonna undo this. Just see the clip here. This slide there. Here we go. That's the problem for us. It's right there. Just Two Here you go. It's filthy. Take that one out next to it. There you go. Now put new ones in. New ones all in. So you just hook this like that. Hook it back. Done. And just put the glove box back. Bottom fill is all done. Here's the other one now. So now uh, we're gonna reset the service light. Now I'm gonna do a service reset. Uh, Make sure all the doors are shut. To position one. Make sure the mileage is displaying. So you press the R button on top. We go one, two, three. Brings up the voltage. Then we're gonna scroll up. There you go. The instrument cluster up again. So we we'll go to. No. There you go. Service items. Then we're gonna scroll down. Confirmation. Then we go press this one to go forward it's full service confirmation service confirmed again press the arrow so that's all now scroll down if we can now that's just all that that's it yeah, just this is the back button back back so there you go, the mileage is turned off now. And, and here you go. Engine's on, running. That's it. Thank you for watching. The service is all done, running nicely. Put the engine cover back on, and then the service is done.